Escape, or if you're doing it this way, rest, right? Relax. Escape. Silence is good in prayer. It's hard to pray when you've got music on or other things or you're watching TV or you're talking to somebody. Silence is good. So, rest. First one, relax. Escape. Silence. Tea. Time. Rest. Relax. Escape. Silence and time. If you want to know the practice of prayer, those are, that's an acrostic, that's a, a process that I, I hope that you will you know, practice this week. That you will try that. You will try to, try to relax. Try to relax. Try to escape from the stress of your life or your relationships. Seek some silence. Turn things off. Turn your phone off or put it down or something. Turn the TV off. And then spend some time in prayer. And time for you might be three, four minutes or five minutes, right? That might be all the time that you can manage in prayer. But the more time you spend in prayer, the longer that time will be, right? Reflection this week. Why does our culture love electronic communication, text messages, email, even phone conversations can be preferred to one-on-one -on -one face communications? Why is that, right? Because it's not personal. It's not intimate. You can hide behind it. You can text, you know, in your towel when you come out of the shower. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I've been at work for half an hour, right? You can lie in a text. People don't know. It's not personal, it's not intimate. Prayer is intimate. You wanna do something intimate today? Everybody likes intimacy? Prayer is intimate because God knows right through your skin the condition of your heart. So the reflection. We prefer all these ways of hiding who we are, but with God, prayer is intimate. So 